creeps. The absolute college football creeps. And you're like, George, what do you mean by creeps? I'm talking about the teams that are moving in silence. The teams that we are not talking about when we're talking about the national championship picture, when we're talking about the playoff. Yes, they may be mentioned in passing, but we're really not giving them the time and attention that they probably should right now. Because we're focused on the Oregon, the Ohio State, the Alabama, the Georgia, the Texas, all of Miami, all of them teams. We need to be giving Clemson some love right now because they're creeping. Now, have they been playing the toughest schedule? No, but they're knocking doors off and they're playing well. And their quarterback, Kay Klubnik, another 300 yard, three touchdown performance in their 48 to 31 win over Virginia. Dabo is quietly doing work. Remember all the boo birds last year, including me, talking about Dabo not getting the job done. Does he need to hop in the portal? This and that and this and that. After they lost to Georgia, oh, should he be fired? Should he did? Should he quit? All of this. Dabo is just quietly shutting people up. Now, is this schedule the toughest? No, no, it's not. But he's winning games and they are being dominant. But we're not talking about them. The next creeper team, Notre Dame. They beat Virginia Tech 31 to 13. Now, Georgia Tech and their head coach, Brent Key, did not have their star quarterback, Hayes King, and it showed. But this Notre Dame team, since their Northern Illinois loss, they have showed that they're going to hang their hat on their running game and on their defense. Do you know what this team feels like to me? This feels like the 2000 Ravens with Trent Dilfer at quarterback. Riley Leonard is their Trent Dilfer. Do not expect 300-yard passing games. Do not expect three touchdown passing games. Don't expect none of that. Expect a couple rushing touchdowns, about 200 yards, not to throw interceptions. That's about it. That's what you expect out of Riley Leonard. But this Notre Dame team keeps creeping, creeping, creeping. Guess what? If the college football playoff started today, they would absolutely be in. Next creeper team, Texas A&M. Oh, they played Mississippi State 34 to 24. Now, this was a, a win. But the question is, I got the same question about this Texas A&M team that I did about Georgia last week. How did you let Mississippi State score so many points? They scored 31 points versus Georgia. Texas couldn't move the damn football. Mississippi State, 24 points. Now the question is, is Mississippi State getting better or is the SEC overrated? That's my question. But Texas A&M, good job, and they're creeping, creeping, creeping. <laughs> they are at the top of the SEC standings. That's how far they've creeped, crept. Of the next Creeper team, Iowa State, 38-35, survive in advance. They beat UCF. It took them down to the wire. But you know what? They won. And if this was a big logo team, we would, we would be questioning it. But we'd be like, yo, they won, though. Like, I know that, that Missouri almost lost to Vandy, but they, but they didn't. They didn't. I know that Mississippi State scored 31 points on Georgia, but... George, George won. It's fine. Just survive in advance. Last team up for the Creepers is the LSU Tigers. Oh, they beat Arkansas 34 to 10. That USC loss is a stain on the jersey. But Garrett Nussmeyer, the rest of this team, doing work, continuing to win. We're not talking about it. But now they deserve some credit, some adulation, and some praise for what they're doing. So good job, LSU. You're doing your thing. Make sure that you like, subscribe, tell a friend about The Unafraid Show. Most importantly, subscribe, share, leave comments down at the bottom. Thumbs up in the chat, everything, every week. More shows every week and more content. Make sure you get it. Peace out. Catch you guys next. Well, catch you guys tomorrow when you're back on the channel.